Capcom's mysterious move has left gamers baffled and demanding answers. In today's video, we'll dive into the puzzling case of the disappearing ray tracing in Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake. You won't believe what we've uncovered, so stick around to find out. Don't shoot! Get down! What's up everyone? We've got some strange news for you today as Capcom seems to have quietly removed ray tracing from the PC versions of Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake. You heard that right? The fan favorite graphics feature is now missing and nobody knows why. So let's dive in and see if we can shed some light on this enigma. Players started noticing something was off when the Resident Evil games received a new update overnight. Reports from Steam users in the community section and discussions on Reddit revealed that ray tracing support had vanished and some even claimed the HDR option was broken. It's like Capcom decided to take a step back in time, leaving us all scratching our heads. While there's some debate about whether Resident Evil 7 has also lost its ray tracing, there's no concrete evidence to back up that claim just yet. But for RE2 and 3 Remake, the situation is as clear as the high-definition water you can't see anymore. Players speculate that both games might have accidentally switched back to DirectX 11, which can't support features like 3D audio and, of course, ray tracing. And if that's not enough to raise your eyebrows, it seems Dolby Atmos headphone support has vanished too, possibly replaced by a generic 3D audio setting. It's like a game of Where's Waldo, but with graphics features. Capcom brought these next-gen updates to the Resident Evil games last year to enhance the player experience, but now it's as if they've gone AWOL. Unfortunately, Capcom hasn't made any official statement about the ray tracing removal, leaving gamers in the dark, literally, and searching for answers. What we do know is that Capcom plans to end support for non-ray traced versions of Resident Evil 2, 3, and 7 starting July 12th of this year. So we can't help but wonder if this is a strange prelude to that decision or just an innocent mistake. Whatever the reason, players deserve an explanation. Until then, we'll be keeping our eyes peeled for any developments in this graphics mystery. Stay tuned and don't forget to hit that like button if you too are curious about the fate of ray tracing in the Resident Evil universe. That's it for today, folks. Leave your thoughts and theories in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming news and updates. See you in the next one.